can you, are you available between now and the, oh, you're probably <laughs> um, I also um, wanted to talk to you a little bit about cloud computing and some of the issues we're seeing with China. Um, various Chinese regulations are making it difficult or even impossible for U.S. technology companies to operate in China, um, possibly in violation of WTO commitments. Um, specifically, I'm concerned with China's proposed draft regulations that when combined with existing Chinese law would require U.S. cloud providers to transfer valuable intellectual property and effectively hand over control of their businesses to Chinese companies in order to operate. Um, global cloud services totaled more than $100 billion in 2016, has a very strong presence in my district and in my state. Um, so it's very critical that the U.S.-China Comprehensive Economic Dialogue's 100-day work plan includes a commitment by China to resolve this problem. And so I wanted to hear from you. Are you aware of this issue? And can you talk about any progress um, that the administration is making towards addressing this issue? Well, yes, um, Congressman, I am aware um, of the issue. It's an extremely important issue. And it, to me, when I read about it, it's another example of a country being a mercantilist and basically having an industrial policy. They see a, a, um, an industry or a sector that has value, that's high technology, that has a huge growth potential that affects not just its own sector, but every sector, right? Because it's, it's this linkage that's so important, and then they try to get themselves in the position where they take over first within their own country and then way beyond that. So they, it's, and it's exactly the same pattern that we see everywhere. They limit, you have to have a partner before you can go in. Anyone who hasn't followed this issue, it's worth looking at as a, it's a prototype of exactly how they've gotten to where they are in a whole bunch of industries for non-economic reasons. None of this has anything to do with the economy. So it's an extremely important issue. It's something that, that, that I'm focused on, that the, that the Secretary of Commerce is focused on, and others in the administration are focused on. And we, we are raising our complaints with the, with the Chinese, and we're looking at, at, at all of our options. So this is, we're aware of the issue, we realize how important it is, and we're, we are engaged on it. Um, thank you. You know, China, um, the fact that China has these regulations is particularly uh, really uh, offensive, given the fact that Chinese cloud computing companies don't face these types of restrictions when they operate in the U.S. So, um, I mean, this is an extremely important point. There's no reciprocity at all, mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's, it's something that if we can take care of it through current law we should do, and if we can't, the Congress should look at it, in my judgment, as a, as, as a, you know, as a policy. Um, one, one quick point, which will be for the record, because we don't have time. I want to make sure you're aware of um, some of the concerns and questions we've heard about the covered agreement um, with respect to the EU, and so I'll submit a question for the record on there, and I'd appreciate your feedback on that. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Delbeni. Mr. Renacci, 